Day 144, Part B, Simplifying Resistor Circuits. Once again, diagrams will be very important here, and practice is very important. You look within this complex circuit to where the simplified parallel and series portions are. Once again, practice. Here I see, hopefully you'll see, that the 6 and the 12 on the far right are in parallel with each other. If you were to look at this location right here, this little spot right here, let's just call that point A, and let's call the spot right down here, point B, there are two ways to get from point A to point B. You can go through the 6 ohm resistor or the 12 ohm resistor. They are in parallel with each other. So I'll do the computation over here. We have 1 over our total will be equal to 1 over the 6.0 plus 1 over the 12. Go to your calculator. The combined resistance of those two resistors is 4.0 ohms. So now we'll redraw the diagram. So here's the new diagram. I've replaced the 6 and the 12 ohm resistors with its equivalent resistance of 4.0 ohms. I've also labeled on the far left over there the given 0.5 ohm resistor that was stated in the problem above. All right, next step. The 4 and the 2 ohm resistor on the far right are in series. And that's an easy combination because you just add those. 4 plus 2 is 6. So I'll draw that new diagram. So the 6.0 ohm resistor replaces the 4 and the 2. Hopefully you're starting to see a pattern here now. If I look at this point over here, call it point D and point E, between those two points there are two pathways, the 3 and the 6 ohm resistors. They're in parallel. So I'll combine them by the parallel rule. I'll do the math up here to the right. So that would be 1 over the combined R total will be equal to 1 over 3.0 plus 1 over 6.0. If you do the math there, the total combined resistance is 2.0 ohms. So we'll draw a new diagram. I'll do that on the next page. So the new resistor is 2.0 ohms, replacing the 3 and the 6. It bears repeating at this point once again, when you have two resistors in parallel that are combined, or any three or four, the combined resistance is always less than any of the given resistors simply because multiple pathways result in a low overall resistance because it's like having more roads from point A to point B or point C to point D. The overall resistance is less than any of the individual resistors. Now, this basically is a one-step problem to finish it off because it, we have a single loop here now with four resistors in series. There are no multiple pathways, so it's simple addition. Just add the 4 plus the 2 plus the 1 plus the 0.5. The total overall resistance will be 7.5 ohms. So let's draw that. We've finished our first goal, and that is to find the overall equivalent resistance. So our answer is 7.5 ohms of total overall resistance in this circuit. Let's find the current. So V equals IR. We have 8 volts, 8.0. Current times the 7.5 ohms of resistance. The current in this particular circuit comes out to be 1.1 amps. Now one way we show that in a diagram is by arrows like this. This shows the flow of current. Typically we'll draw this neither clockwise nor counterclockwise, but what we usually do is we start with the positive part of the battery. That's the long line here with the symbol is the positive side, the short side is the negative side. We usually draw these arrows from positive and negative. That shows that the current is flowing that way. Now, once again, the current does not start at the battery. It all starts up all at one time. But when you draw an arrow, you've got to start at some place, and we usually start at the battery. But there's a flow here of 1.1 amps. Let's also do 
the power of the circuit. It didn't say to do that, but we're going to do that. What kind of power is supplied to this particular resistor, whether it's a light bulb or a carbon fixed resistor? And we have a couple of options, but the one that I generally like to use is P equals I squared R. So we have, in this case, for that particular resistor, 1.1 squared times 7.5 ohms power equals 9.1 watts. All right, so that's simplifying a circuit following all our rules of combinations for parallel and series resistors, finding the overall current and the overall power of this particular setup.